Hi, everybody. Welcome to this short video on why decoupled storage and compute is so great and how it works in Firebolt. Let's get started. So we're looking at the Firebolt environment here. Uh, you can see I'm looking at a database called EdTech DBV3. And the nice thing about decoupled storage and compute uh, means that when I will run the script, I will be not able to just get an answer very quickly, but actually choose the type of hardware I'm running this on uh, with a few clicks. And the way it works is that behind the scenes, uh, we don't just have databases, but we have a concept called engines. An engine in Firebolt is the compute resource, the cluster you're using to run your queries. When you define an engine or when you edit an engine, you can easily choose the scale. This means how many nodes participate in the cluster. For more advanced users, we can optimize further by literally choosing the EC2 instance type. So you can control things like how much RAM and SSD your cluster has. And your databases can have multiple such engines attached to them, like the AdTech DB database that I just showed you, showed you. So I have a database with around 42 billion rows. Let me run a uh, select count. Here you go, 42 billion rows. And we saw the query return in around 1.87 seconds, which is pretty good for such a size. But what about if I want to save a little bit of money and maybe run on a less expensive piece of hardware? So now I'm going from $3.8 to $2.7, and the query will be probably a little bit slower. Uh, let me clear this. Here we go. And now I have around six seconds. So these are the kind of trade-offs you can do when you work in such an environment. You can decide for each query, how many resources do I want to use? How much do I want to spend uh, and so forth? You never have to migrate to a stronger or cheaper cluster. You don't have to recluster, re-index, partition. You don't have to worry about anything. Just run your queries, choose your hardware with a few clicks uh, and get going. Thank you.